Hello everyone in the YouTube world, it's the Spirit Room 152. Okay, so earlier today, I was going through my Twitter, and I found a conversation that I had with one of my viewers back in February. Um, we were talking about Law & Order SVU, and this one tweet she um, sent to me, it really stuck out in my, it really sticks out in my mind. She, um, see, when I talk about Law & Order SVU, like with people, I get, one thing I get asked is about my experiences of meeting Peter Scanavino. Um, and I, and I don't really talk about them a lot. Um, but this particular tweet my viewer sent me, um, she told me that her cousin was a victim of bullying and ended up committing suicide. Um, before he died, he said to my viewer that he wanted to meet Peter Scanavino. And... I read that tweet and it's just now hitting me. I mean, just that I'm alive and breathing and he isn't. And I got to meet Peter, yet he didn't. And it makes me think about the times I've been bullied in high school. I've been bullied in school. I remember wanting. I remember one time I wanted to, there were times where I wanted to kill. Literally, I had homicidal tendencies towards the people who bullied me. I wanted to see, like, I literally wanted to see them suffer. I wanted to kill myself at one point. And that wasn't the only time, like, there were a couple others, but it wasn't because of bullying. But when I was 11, that, it that's what it was and just you know to think about how and it just makes me think well how is it that I was a victim of bullying yet I'm still alive and breathing yet my viewers cousin was a victim of bullying yet he's no longer alive and breathing I mean he resorted to suicide and people think like suicide like oh you're being selfish it's just like, I don't, like, honestly, I don't know how to properly answer it. Like, I, I don't even know how to properly answer that, but, you know, it just, but right now I just think, like, what if I had done what my viewer's cousin had done by committing suicide, first of all? Um, Peter would, would have never had a song, probably would have never had a song written about him. Because I wrote a song about him, you know, telling him, like, hey, we actually like you. We want you back for season 17. We want you to stay on the show. And he obviously wouldn't have known that I existed. And there's just, I've done so much. I've gotten to do a lot. And a lot of, and it just, it may, and now, like, that I'm thinking about the tweet my viewer had sent me, it's like, what if I hadn't, if, what if I didn't have the help, what if I didn't have a way of coping, what if it got so, too much, so much, it became, like, way too much for me that I resorted to suicide, like, what would have, like, how would have this life been different if I had killed myself back in 2004? 2006 and 2007. But just suicide in general, like, there have been times, like, I've thought about it. Like, now that, you know, that this, that what my viewer said to me, it's really hitting me. You know, I got a, it's just, you know, I mean, I've gotten past it. You know, the happy, smiling, like, the amped up, the amped up Christina you see on Twitter. Um, my username is the Spirit Room 152, by the way, if you want to check it out. Um, no, the Spirit Room 1, excuse me. Um, it just, you know, makes me think, like, what, like, I just, you know, I look back at everything that I've done, and I think about it, and it's like, how the hell was I so sued? How the hell was I in such a dark place? at 11 years old
And then again at 14, 15, 16 years old. I know I'm probably rambling and it's not going to make much sense, but I just needed to get all this out. And I mean, it's just, you know, it kind of makes me sad that, you know, my viewer's cousin never had the opportunity to meet Peter. I mean, I don't think, like, in my opinion, like, you know, people say, like, suicide, like, it's, you know, it's like, oh, that person's being selfish. But, I mean, to me, I get, like, for me, suicide, like, for them, it's, maybe it's, like, it's so bad, like, there's nothing. Like, I feel like that, like, maybe they just got into their head, like, there's nothing that can be done to, to get out of this other than to erase myself from this world. And I used to be, and I used to have that headspace, and yet. But, you know, I found ways to cope, you know, I have my guitars, um, I write music, um, I crochet, I squeeze a stress ball when I need to, you know, I listen, you know, I play music through my stereo, dance to it, lately, lately I've been jamming out too, I hit it first by Ray J, and, um, it's just, I mean, bullying sucks. I mean, I was beat up twice in school. I've gotten to numerous, I have gotten into fights that were started by other people. Had the shit beat out of me. And it's just, how was I, and it makes, and you know, just, how was I able to come out of all of it, come out of it alive and breathing, yet others haven't? And I'm guessing to myself, maybe they just didn't have the support. I mean, when I was being bullied, school administrators never did anything about it. And I remember one time I was in high school, I had taken matters into my own hands. And I did... And it took me until that I until I took matters in my own hands for school administrators to even do anything. And I feel like, you know, it shouldn't reach to a point where you take matters in your own hands that you need to people, like, to stop people, you know, from saying shit. Like, you just need, like, you, it doesn't, like, you don't, I don't understand it. And I mean... It just, it's, it makes me think, you know? I'm sorry if I'm rambling and I'm probably not making any sense, but it's just, this is a lot that I'm thinking about. And, you know, I just really... It just, but yeah, it just makes me think, like, okay, I got to meet Peter Scanavino, yet my viewer's cousin never had that opportunity, because some kids thought it would be funny, you know, make fun of him, bully him, yet, until it drove him to suicide. But yeah, that's just, this is just my piece and, um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, guess there's, that's all I really have to say because right now I'm drawing a blank. What if I come up with more, I'll post another video. So, uh, yeah, the Spirit Room 152 signing off. Alright, bye guys.